Hello everybody, XP Gamer here, and welcome back to more Okami HD. And as I was just sitting here on my phone while the uh, game was just running, because you know I'm typically on my phone a bit before I start recording, it started turning to dawn, and I gotta say I really like it. Anyways, last time where were we? We were uh, we were biting things, we were biting birds, uh, we talked to people, we restored the village, most importantly by drawing a sun yay oh, I kind of like Dawn better I shouldn't have done that I should have known sheesh he's always snoring like a bear can't really hear this is the home of the two-bit middle-aged warrior Suzano he goes around claiming to be a descendant of Nagi he's famous around here for his lineage but he's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of a legendary hero. Okay, well let's go talk to him after beating up his Trojan horses a bit. Well, no one to say they're Trojan, but I mean, wooden horse, that's the first thing that came to mind. Is he in here? He's snoring, so he must be. What is this? Breaking and entering is fun. Howdy there. <laughs> I am the greatest. Oh, Kushi, let's. Don't. Don't finish that. Please, dear God. Do not finish that. Oh, what do we have to do? Slice the boy? Well, we painted the boy. Oh, there we go. That'll do. If that didn't wake him, nothing will. Let's just leave him for a while and find something else to do. Okay, so it's a lost cause. Okay, apparently just walking up there uh, does it, so neato. Uh, what's up here? Howdy there, human. A merchant. Heave! Heave! This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. But my body won't cooperate. Excuse me one second. Okay. It's like I'm made of lead! Or maybe you're just a little bit overweight. That could be it. Or just out of shape, I should say. Be less rude. Would this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. You're trying to push a boulder. What do you think's gonna happen? Ooh. You guys remind me of the Yiga clan. For some reason. Okay. That's a nice... Nice rearrange you got there, but uh, I need to see no more of it. Okay, cut him. Get it dead. And now we kill you. Wait, what? Did that not kill him? Why do you no die? Okay, well, there we go. Does the cut insta finish them? I don't know. I'm still not the best with this game combat yet. That's the one thing I'm still a bit shaky on. I need to figure out how it works. Ooh, we have brought back life. And thus have been given praise. You accumulated praise. Whoa, Amy, you suddenly started glowing. That means your divine attributes can be enhanced. Uh. You sure look excited. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Yes, please. Take a stab at enhancing your divine attributes. I'm gonna open the fan menu where you see your divine attributes. And we'll use the praise you've accumulated doing it. Oh, so it's like combat enhancements? A uh, life energy, ink pot, uh, the astral pouch, and then your wallet, apparently, which is called a purse, because, you know, Amy's a woman. 
Okay, we'll do that. Okay, you have to hold it just to... Well, that's nice that you have to hold it just so it makes sure you don't, like, misclick or something. Well, is it all coming back to you or what? Huh? It's hard to notice such a small enhancement. Uh, lighten up, Furball. This is one big step for the new and improved Amaterasu. Keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. You better check in on that dude. No, oh, I feel as light as a feather now. But you still can't push a boulder because it's a boulder. You went and blocked the only path out of here anyway. There's no way I can get back to the city now. There's cities too. Mm. Your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know, uh, that guy Susano. Can you get him to come here? Um... I, I guess I could try again. They say he's the descendant of the legendary hero Nagi. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. Uh, yeah. We, we, we've been over this. My observant little... Imp? I don't know what he is, honestly. He's just this really tiny dude. Did it say what he was? I feel like it did at some point. I'm just missing it. I don't know. I don't know what Isun is. Or if I'm supposed to know what Isun is just yet. What the? Huh? Okay, now he gets up. Oh, I feel so well rested. I plan to meditate underground, but fell, but fell fast asleep. No? Huh? Who are you? And what business do you have with Susano, the greatest warrior ever? The great warrior Susano. Do you even do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. How dare a mangy monk like you interrupt my meditate? You just said it yourself. You were meditating. You were sleeping. Okay, so it seems person shape. Well, actually, we knew that. Is that his head or is that a hat? that has a face on it. Get a load of this guy. All brawn and no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. Mm -hmm. You snuck in here again. Quit bugging me, you... you... bug. I told you, don't call me a bug. Come on, Amy. We're talking. We're taking him with us. What do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? Uh, I don't think they care quite on it. Ooh, we actually get to transport him. Okay. That looks very uncomfortable. What does this remind me of? There's another instance in a game where you play as, like... Maybe it's a Wii Party minigame or something? Or no, Goat Simulator! That's what it reminds me of. In the, in the amusement park where the humans get on you and then they literally just flop around because that game's programming is ever so great. You mangy mutt. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me. Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohenboku! The, hold on a minute. You're the legendary Susano. Yup, none other than Susano. The greatest warrior who ever- Yeah, we get it. And by the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder blocking the path is really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you are Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? You know, my mom's tech. Apparently my brother's here from college momentarily, so I might have to stop the recording a bit. But uh, because I do want to see him. But uh, how long is he here for? I didn't even know he was coming. It is certainly not beyond my ability. Really great. Okay, he's leaving. 
Well, I'll be right back then, because apparently since my brother's leaving, well, I, I should probably go see him. So, be right back, and then we'll talk. Okay, I'm back. Had a nice conversation with him. Talked about some of the stories he's been writing, stuff like that. Now, let's get back to this merchant. No time like the present, go for what? it! Wait! A boulder of this size is not very easy, even for me! This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen a guy train seriously. Ever! So you want us to go... Take a peek? Take a look-see at him? The training ground's just his house, I presume? Oh, back here. You're the... He's not even holding it! I know I told that merchant I could help you, but a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm a legend- I'm a of a legendary bloodline, it's just too big! Hmm? Oh no. I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this. What is sake? This won't do one bit. That's it for today. I'll just have to train tomorrow. I can't train without sake to fuel the fire. Training will just have to wait till tomorrow. Why do today what can be put off until tomorrow? My boy has the extreme procrastination going on. Perhaps doing things the Susano way. I like the Susano way. Sake? Hmm. Oh yeah, this village has a sake brewing girl, doesn't it? Oh, sake's a drink, okay. Sake, also spelled sake, also referred to as Japanese rice wine, is an alcoholic beverage made by fermenting rice that has been polished to remove the bran. Huh, okay, so I can't drink that. It's an alcoholic thing. <laughs> First off, this rock looks awfully igneous. Okay, we can't do anything with it. It's quite shiny as well, so I guess we're going to talk to the... Uh... Brewing girl. Okay, so according to Google, I cannot have sake. <laughs> hey there, you're the girl, right? Oh, hello there. I've got a bit of a problem, you know. I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it. But the mill's broken. A wicked monster broke it the other day. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without clean rice. Wow, that's too bad. Uh, okay, way to care. I should never have let that monster try- You just let them try it? Oh, Thunder Brew? What's Thunder Brew? A broken mill and flattened crops. That's all the thanks I get. Don't go giving monsters sake. They're bad enough sober. <laughs> Sheesh, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess this is a matter of fixing something that's broken. Sounds like something you could handle with your brush, Amy. Alright, so what are we fixing? The water wheel? Good enough. Okay, that actually worked. Seems like they're very forgiving on the uh, brush side. What's this? The mill's been mended? Who on earth did that? I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. Why are we doing this for that man again? It's not like he can break the boulder anyway. He said it himself. No time like the present. Better get it started. Okay, hurry up and make it zisake. Oh, I have to go in her house. All right, well, let's cut down this one more time. Oh, we don't get anything. How upsetting. Give me the alcohol. You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Uh, no, I just want it. Polishing the rice, you see. Ooh, I'll tell you what. I got something I think you'll like. It's just some leftover stock from the store. But I made it myself. 
It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even older? Than yes, yes, we are. We totally are. Don't meant bite. Oh, am I supposed to give this to him? I'm assuming. Okay. But I wanted to drink it. I want some alcoholic beverage. I'm old enough. Totally not immature. <laughs> Here, take this. Well, that got you up quick. Hold it right there, Fido. That smell. Is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? No, it's the Beast of the Gods. Even better. Did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? Oh, what a glorious day! Ah, good old sake. A man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his bottle with the dreaded earth. I thought sake in his bottle, but no, sake in his battle with the dreaded Aruchi. It's all so clear now. Let the training begin. I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. Did he miss? Did he just miss the mortal draw? You shall not get off so easy next time, dummy! Let me get mentally prepared here. Okay, here I come. Mortal draw! Oh, I think we're supposed to cut it for him. Okay. I see, I see. Hey, Furball, how about lending the poor guy a hand? It'd be quicker if you used Power Slash on him. That's what it's called. I always forget the name. Yeah, I did that. Think you're so cool? Let me get mental. Is he really that drunk that he can't tell that we slashed it for him? Wait, what? I slashed it. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, we had to do it during the cutscene. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yes, yes. Wouldn't it be quicker if your dialogue didn't make me manually go through it all? Alright. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There. Oh, jeez. Okay. Two of them. Ah! I got it. Feast your eyes on this. Suzano style. Exploding implosion. It. We did it. Huh? Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do that, like, actually try and make it sound like him, because that would just hurt. Suzano style! Yeah, yeah, same thing. Wait, so now we can cut this? We couldn't do it before? Like, how once something is cut in half, it literally just, the rest of it just disappears. You sliced that huge rock clean in half! You really are something! Okay, now he's turning to, like, Merida or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that guy's voice. Me either. Uh, I mean, of course I could. Why are we giving this dude confidence? After all, I am Suzano! The greatest warrior- See, this is what happens when you give people confidence. You weren't just showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendant. Someone like you'd have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. He walked the opposite direction. Wait, did he? Uh, uh, of course, no problem. This is a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes. I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Suzano work his magic. Ha 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 ha. 
He shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Oh, is it our powers combined? Is that how it happened, maybe? I don't know. Monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, glorious Amatras. Whoa! Don't show me that angle again, please. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. Uh, when you cleaved the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush is to be witness to great art. Yeah. So did we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun! Isun, Isun, Isun! Stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word. They... Uh... <laughs> This is not the kind of game I thought it'd be. <laughs> uh, relax, lady. Furball here is more comfy anyways. Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking. No, you were talking. Oh my god. Put your paw up or something. Go on, shake. I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but... I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely en muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Didn't you already use all your power? Like, why are you here? Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the... Oh, so it's within the village now that it's restored. Okay. My roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Ah, oh, man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Amaterasu, could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. Okay. Neat. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. Yes, get you and your behind out of here, please. I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. You're speaking to a sleeping wolf right now, lady. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Bah! I'm always itching for a good fight, but... I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here till I get all the brush skills. That's all you care about, huh? Anyway, Emmy's a god and all. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world. And I'll steal and learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Alright, so map, 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 that looks like a map. Here we are. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! This is a pretty big world, okay. Okay. Alright, neat. Okay, cool. Uh, so big world, big world. That's really- you're literally setting up here? This is like five feet away from the boulder! Oh, I guess it's before heading back, alright. Feel free to take a look if you've been sent to do the shopping, pup. Sure, why not? We can get some seed. 
uh, so that we can bite more burbs. We can get some sweet herbs for herb herbivorous uh, animals. I guess I'll take one of those. Meat, uh, carnivorous animals, fish, uh, fishnivorous animals. A vengeance slip temporarily defect deflect enemy attack. Exorcisms, what? Slightly damages nearby and okay, but why is it called the exorcism slip? Also, why is there an S there? Steel fist sake, sake brood with spirit of steel, increases attack, increases defense, restores three units of solar energy. I'll take one of those. I, I, that's all I have? Okay, I guess I'll take one of these then. And we will be on our merry way. Thank you, Mr. Merchant. Alright, so this adventure seems to be unfolding. Shinshu Field. What is all that red stuff? Reminds me of, uh, Celeste. You probably know this already, Amy, but this here is Shinshu Field. The most beautiful field in Nippon. Yeah, at least it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. Maybe it's because of all the red stuff uh, floating around. You can look at the map by holding down ZL. Yeah, 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 okay. Gotta remember that. Okay, so yes, there's a lot of that red stuff, apparently. So, like, up here would be a dead end. What's this, though? It's supposed to be a place for travelers to rest and recuperate. But just look at it! It looks like it could fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed from the... Fr yeah, from the looks of it, I'd say so. Uh, monotone gray coloring. Uh, red and black shadowy stuff. I I'd say so. Luring monsters from far and wide are known as cursed zones, but I've never seen one this big. It's withered all the plant life in the area, even that big tree. It'd take a monster with powers beyond even a god to do this. That tree's an offshoot of Sakuya. It protects nature in the area. Maybe the natural beauty here would return if we revived it. Yeah, how the hey hey would we do that? And what is this thing? Okay, battle apparently. So is that how we initiate battles normally, or what? Did I cut you? I didn't cut you, I didn't cut you. Okay. Maybe all that stuff. Yay, we did it! Okay. So was that just like, a battle initiator, or what? Is this how we initiate battles in this game? I mean, different, different, kind of neat. I'll say that much. It's, it's neat, it's different. I don't understand what those are meant to be. Like, I thought it was a scroll or a collectible or something at first, but I guess it just initiates battles. Don't spank your booty at me. Yeah, I'll take that. 884 yen. That's a lot of yen. Alright. Uh, curses over there. You have a face up there. Is that actually a face or is that like a Japanese character? Duhana Valley. Alright, well, um. What can we do with you? Yeah, look at that, Amy. This guardian sapling's a wreck. So that's why Sakuya is hurting so bad. I bet the natural beauty would return if you revived that tree. Okay, so a power we don't have yet, I presume. Uh, let's initiate this battle. Ooh, we have an orange... A boy with orange coloring to him. Oh, Jesus! That's a big staff. Hey, yeet, yeet. 
Did he just pull out a sitar or something? Was he gonna... Oh, Jesus. What? Okay. So apparently that only damaged them. I guess I shouldn't pay attention to cutting them. I thought cutting was automatically instant death. But, uh, I guess I need to pay more attention to health bars. Because that guy was not dead. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Keep in mind, I'm blind with this game. So, can I not cut that? No, okay. So, there's a lot of stuff that I still need to learn about it. Why does this guy have, like, a sitar? Can I keep comboing him after he's dead? Did it look like I hit him after he was dead? But I don't know, I might be wrong. Can you eat that again? Alright. We have a man over there. But first, I'm gonna kill you. I don't think it's necessary to get into every battle, but for the time being, I'm gonna do that. Kill him! Kill him! No, don't hit me with a flute. Why do they all have, like, musical instruments? If there's one that pulled out a flute on us, this guy is a freaking some kind of sitar guitar thing. I don't really know what it is. Okay. But in the end, they all share one thing. They're all dead. They were slain by Amaterasu. Um, okay. Who is this man? And why is he of any importance? Nameless men. A long line of men who protected Hana Valley live here. And they're all nameless. Okay. Fun. Why are they nameless? We might find out. Who knows? I could bite that man. What just happened? Wait, no, that's not even a question. I was out here chopping wood and commuting with nature as usual. When I heard a loud rumbling like an earthquake from the lake. Then a huge gust of wind blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when I came to, it was like this. My art workshop was just across the stream there, but it up and vanished when this cursed zone appeared. The earth must be angry. All I want is to live with nature in peace, man, but now I can't. I noticed a figure running from the lake toward Kamiki. Whoever it was, man, I hope Mother Earth kept him safe. You still have something to say? Curious about that cave? It's the entrance to a place called Hana Valley. The site of an amazing waterfall. The monsters have moved in now. There's a trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow. Ooh. Actually, not long ago, that Suzano guy went marching in there. It's weird. Normally, he runs away at the sight of monsters. And he hardly seems the type to try his hand at gardening. Anyway, it's bad karma, man. You could be attacked if you went in. Alrighty, so with that, I just realized the time. Uh, we have our lead on well, what to do next. Next time on Okami HD, we're heading into that cave to hopefully get that, uh, he said it was a crystal ball, right? To help the something something, I forget the name of it, sapling. Also, what the heck is that thing up there? Well, we'll, we'll find out later. So, see you guys then.